this is my numerical calculations project uh, the first thing we have is some constants um, B the first are pretty explanatory B is the drag coefficient of the for a sphere uh, for air and then I go on to calculate the air force in the y direction and the acceleration in the y direction uh, with the air force uh, drag of air considered into the equations and I do that for both the x and the y directions um, yeah and then the while loop goes on to constantly update these things the velocity of the ball uh, the position of the ball the time and it also goes to update the force of the air uh, acting on the ball and the accelerations here I'm gonna change uh, the uh, values of the ball so the velocity is zero all the way around what we'll see is we actually hit terminal velocity I have it running for 10 seconds and each time interval is 0.1 seconds um, as you can if you uh, pause the video right there you'll see that the uh, uh, drag in the y direction from Air Force is almost 9.8 uh, meters per second uh, per second squared or that's the force uh, being dragged on it it's on which is canceling out the uh, acceleration of the ball what we get is that the velocity maxes out at about 19.4 meters per second and I'm just gonna comment that in right there now let's add an x direction and a y and see what we get what we get is this nice arc uh, looking type figure and as we can see it slowly decreases in the x direction until it eventually almost comes to a stop and same with the y it no longer goes up it proceeds to go down because the uh, drag of the or air resistance overcomes the that along with gravity overcomes the y direction and the uh, force air resistance over or stops it moving in the x direction here uh, with the numbers I inputted I got pretty lucky uh, I ended up getting almost exactly where I started just by coincidence as we can see the uh, numbers here I have these printed out just in order to check to make sure things are working all right yeah uh, let's let's go with some lower numbers I'm gonna go with 20 and 20 and let's let's see how that works out we've been getting these nice big arcs for a while okay we get a lower arc but I have it running for 10 seconds so the ball continues going down for quite a while but it didn't stay up very long uh, and it didn't keep going it didn't maintain its uh, X velocity very long either due to the fact that uh, air resistance was counteracting it so it seems the bigger the velocities in the x and y direction the longer it takes for the uh, air resistance in order to drag it out and uh, thank you for watching the video